Great, so hello viewers and welcome to Victory at Sea. I'm your host, PBU Chu, and welcome to the press preview version of this game. So, anyhow, today we'll be, uh, I'll, or rather, I'll be previewing one of the tactical battles presented within the game, utilizing the quick battle uh, selector here, but just uh, briefly going over what exactly Victory at Sea is all about. Um, this is a uh, upcoming World War II themed naval RTS. It'll be out on August the 8th, and well, it's, uh, it's a very promising title in the sense that it'll be featuring a open world uh, World War II naval campaign. It's not only going to feature one of them, it's going to feature three of them. One for the Mediterranean, one for the Atlantic, and one for the Pacific. And these campaigns are uh, they're, they're open world campaigns. They play out in real time. And in a sense, if I were to compare it to another game, I'd probably say it's uh, very, say, similar to something in the, in the sense of perhaps Mountain Blade um, in, in, in the sense that you, uh, you start off on this overarching campaign, you make your movements using your different fleets and that, of course all of that takes place in real time. Um, once say two fleets uh, of course uh, clash you get into these tactical battles which is the portion that I'm uh, going to be uh, previewing today. So um, we have 400 points here for a 400 point battle to uh, to set up here. There are seven different factions inside the game uh, presented of course over the over the three campaigns that is Great Britain, the USA, Nazi Germany, uh, Japan, Italy and France and Vichy France there. Um, the game will feature a wide variety of different ships, starting off with things such as torpedo boats and uh, you know submarines, for relatively smaller ships working their way up to destroyers, and as the British we get a whole bunch of those, a whole bunch of uh, cruisers as well, moving up to uh, some of the heavier ones such as carriers, battle cruisers, and battleships here. Um, just to give you guys a sense of the scale of the, the type of battle we're doing, um, one of these uh, battleships will cost roughly 500-600 points, and we only have 400 points to spend here. So today we're doing we're doing uh, quite a quite a humble type of fight here today. Um, in addition to that, there are quite a lot of different uh, weather and time settings for these battles. And in addition, the game not only features say just ship v ship engagements, it'll feature say things like port attacks, convoy attacks, and blockade attacks as well here. Um, so starting off, I mean, I think we'll just do a battle between Great Britain and Nazi Germany. Uh, the British here feature, again, a wide variety of different um, destroyers and cruisers. And as you can see, um, they've done their research um, for the game, and they've presented a wide variety of different variants of these ships. If you notice inside the, uh, the very top portion of this ship editor, um, all of these different... Um, vessels that we can buy will have their uh, their according stats listed in say how much uh, hit points they have how much armor they feature um, what speed the ship runs at their size and of course their varying armaments and usually this will be these will be a uh, mixture of different turrets so for example the Leander over here features um, three batteries of these uh, of two guns of these uh, six inch guns there are actually my mistake it has four four of these batteries in addition it features uh, four of these uh, second Secondary turrets, a few torpedo weapons as well, and some anti and or rather it has the the opportunity to feature some anti-submarine and of course aircrafts as well. Um, moving on to those aircraft uh, carriers there. So um, what I think we'll do here is I will get a nice loadout of say perhaps some of these uh, cheap o uh, torpedo boats, some of these destroyers, and these destroyers are say more so secondary uh, ships. They feature only a secondary turret, uh, although a lot of torpedo weapons, so they're quite damaging up close, and of course destroy have that uh, ability to hunt down, say, um, U-boats and things like that. So we'll pick out a nice line of perhaps two destroyers, two torpedo boats, and I'll mix up the destroyers so we have a, so we have a nice variation between different types. And moving forwards, I think we'll get, um, yeah, I think we'll get two cruisers as well. Let's get a Leander and a, uh, and a Perth over here from the looks of it. These two ships are very similar in the sense that they feature the same weapons loadout, although they sort seem to have some sort of um some sort of a mix up between the torpedo weapons. So we'll lock these in. And likewise for the uh, the Germany player we will lock them into say something a bit similar here as well. So we'll give them yeah again just a few torpedo boats, a few uh 
other things. The um, the the German fleet here features a lot of the heavier ships. So, for example, the Bismarck class battleship, um, the Graf Zeppelin carrier. But they also feature quite a lot of. Um, oddly enough, they don't feature very many smaller ships, but they feature a few experimental designs, such as Deutschland uh, ba a pocket battleship here, a very small ship featuring very heavy guns. So, for example, it has two of those three times uh, eleven inch uh, batteries, as as composed as compared to our cruisers with the six inch guns there. Um, but anyhow, let's get the, the let's get the show on the road here, and let's uh, actually I think I'll buy one more destroyer. We'll start the battle and jump into the game here. So uh, yeah, this game has uh, inside these tactical battles two different modes. So it uh, first and foremost features a, a strategical and tactical layer. But going forwards uh, there, we also have of course this uh, this tactical map here and also the 3D ship controls as well. In the sense that you can also take direct control of uh, how you want your ships to function. Um, so starting off inside this over our overhead uh, or you know bird's eye view type of perspective, we can issue various different orders for our ships. Um, namely, we can issue them say move orders or attack orders but for now what I think I'll do here is that I'll issue my ships general orders to move forwards and, and attack we can issue our, our uh, ships here some overarching uh, AI profiles for example engage ships freely defend move to a location or retreat um, obviously retreating uh, matters a bit more on the uh, the campaign map than it does here um, so I think we'll issue yeah our guys a general um, mixture of orders between attacking this uh, small band of enemy ships and um, just in general free free to engage orders like that and well now that we have all of these orders assembled what we can do here is that we can switch to the tactical or the uh, the 3d map mode here and our ships will then uh, effectively in engage in those orders and do uh, what we what we've uh, what we said for them to do here so yeah, the game plays out in this uh, fully real-time mode. The campaign plays out in real time. The, the tactical battles present play out in real time here. The ships, of course, uh, just going briefly over the uh, the HUD. We have a list of the the various different uh, vessels that we have on the field here. The cargo ships bit at the very top of the map, mind you. I believe this is a bit of a bug inside the preview version. I played a uh, a convoy attack mission earlier, and with that said, I think that thing just sort of carries over there. Um, our ships have uh, their different levels. They have their health meter. Their the speed throttle gauge here and the amount of crew um, men still alive on board here. This is uh, of course just general information about the ship's stats. We can speed up the, the, the time inside the game as well here utilizing this slider here and we can also of course pause the game. Um, inside the middle bottom portion of the ship of the uh, the, the, the stuff here we have uh, some information about say some of the guns on our ship. So for example the, uh, the HNS uh, Yander here features two main batteries one on the stern one on the bow of the ship so front and forward, um, the features a few secondary guns on the uh, yeah the, the port and the starboard side of it, as well as a few torpedo launchers here as well. Um, these weapons are uh, they they are of course all subsystems, so they can be knocked out and they can be damaged during the course of the battle as well. And uh, near the bottom here, we have a wide variety of different subsystems as well that can of course be uh, knocked out and damaged during the battle. So yeah, we have turbines, we have props, we have fuel systems, we have engines, we have magazines, bridges, rudders, and of course all types of different things there. From the looks of it, our ship over here, the uh, the tribal class destroyer is actually coming in contact with. So the enemy torpedo boats here. So you know what? Here's what I'll do. I'll pause the game. I'll switch over to our tribal class destroyer here. I'll slow down the time a bit. And what what we, what we can do here is that uh, we can take direct control of these ships, and we can um, effectively take control of where they move, and of course how we want to utilize their weapons as well. So from the looks of it, the, uh, the torpedo boats over here is uh, those torpedo boats are particularly nasty because they feature four of those torpedo launchers able, able enabling them to do quite the amount of damage um, provided that we engage them from the front here. And what I want to do here is that I want to put down say a few uh, torpedoes I want to use some of my main uh, batteries to help me score a few hits on this guy. So unfortunately the torpedoes have missed. I see that uh, light cruiser coming up against us and that is I think the uh, the higher priority target here so what we can do now is that we can of course just try to bank shots off and uh, try to do our best at taking out the enemy uh, boat here so we'll see what happens it looks like they're gonna launch some torpedoes what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna slow down my ship 
I'm gonna get it to rotate just slightly. I'm gonna try to figure out where these torpedoes are going, whether or not we can uh, hopefully dodge this. And ooh, this is gonna be very, very close. That those torpedoes are in the ah, uh, just barely skimped over my ship there. I'm not really sure if there's a friendly fire inside the game, but I would be very interested if those torpedoes did hit their ship there as well. I'm gonna turn off the camera from the uh, from the locked-in ship view to the free camera here. So overall, it's a, it's a very intriguing game in how it plays out here, and I think our first order of business is, of course, just to knock out this guy. Give some lead onto my ships, and we've hit him, damaged two weapons, destroyed another, and knocked out the props on his ship there. So that was quite a nice hit. I'm going to wait until, uh, hopefully, our torpedo launchers uh, load up. I'm going to see whether or not we can unleash a devastating barrage and hopefully take out the um, the Zerstorner class destroyer here shortly. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to get my main cannons to fire off again, and that is going to be the first ship we've uh, we we sink today. So moving forwards, I mean, the game really goes off of this note where we can just uh, enact a whole bunch of different orders to our ships and to uh, just to, to really decide how we want to use them really inside the battle here. So uh, with that destroyer down, these torpedo boats probably won't, um, say, be much of a threat. So what I think I'll do here is that I'm going to give my torpedo boats and other ships here a free-to-engage order. And yeah, they'll target some of the smaller things here. I see that the HMS Galleon over here, another destroyer, a G-class destroyer, is engaging a, uh, a Kornischberg light-class uh, carrier. So we can come over here. We can take manual control of this ship and we can, of course, uh, help it out here. I'm going to speed up the game briefly to the, um, the, the one-time mode. But we'll see what we can do here. Yeah, some of these cruisers will, of course, feature really powerful guns. And from the looks of it, it actually managed to score quite a critical hit on the HMS Galleon over here, taking out both of its gun batteries, uh, rendering it, for, for the most part, uh, useless. So what we can uh, do at that point is that we can, of course, jump through uh, one of the other ships and, uh, well, try to use some of these weapons here. I'd apologize for the loud uh, sound effects there. Forgot to turn those off in the um, in the meantime. I'm gonna get our ship here, the HMS Landry, to fire off two of its main batteries. Hopefully, we can uh, say score a few nice hits on this enemy ship as well. And overall, I mean, the game, of course, just plays off uh, going from here. And the AI, of course, has taken over that J-class destroyer, the HMS uh, Gervais over there, and it's doing its thing. Probably I'm getting off a few more volleys. Our destroyer is firing off the torpedoes. Will it hit it though is, uh, is the question and unfortunately not. Yeah, that destroyer, or that light cruiser, is scoring quite a few critical hits with its gun batteries. And from the looks of it, yeah, it uh, managed to take out our ship there with quite a nice volley. Hopefully we'll have some, uh, some better luck with the HMS Leander here. And the enemy ship is in a very vulnerable position. And we'll see what we can do. So let's see whether or not we can hopefully uh, bank a bit to the side, get our torpedo launchers to fire off a few volleys in addition to our main guns here. I'm going to turn, I'm going to line this up, and we'll fire off a torpedo like that. They might dodge, or they might uh, try to run directly into it. That is very good for us, and that is going to be a direct hit. It disables the engine, disables the ship, and takes out the ship in general there. So um, overall, yeah, the tactical battles to play out will be uh, will be presented in this uh, note, and um, they make for some quick, quick, uh, quick to play action, and some um, yeah, some some decently fast paced and intriguing naval combat for sure. And from the looks of it, yeah, that will be the uh, the first wave of ships here. So let's see what we can do about closing on with the enemy and bring uh, what is left of our fleet here. So one destroyer, two cruisers, and a few torpedo boats onto uh, the enemy's fleet over there. And we can speed this game up to the uh, the, the six times real uh, real real time mode to uh, get to the action a bit faster here. There we go. Slow that down back to uh, one time speed, take a look at some of the guns again, and those enemy ships are directly in range, so we'll see what we can do about banking off a few shots to them. An exchange fire with that destroyer here, both of us got hit by, by a tiny amount, so that's not too bad. They're going to launch the torpedoes, that's going to hopefully disable that, uh, that first destroyer there, so ignore it for now. 
I see that torpedo boat's getting quite uh, quite close. If we can get off its um, its main armaments, that it's going to be quite lethal. Firing off six of those high, highly damaging torpedoes, of course. Let's see what we can do about banking right through the enemy's uh, lines here. Finish off that ship. They're going to launch some torpedoes. We're going to dodge that, so that's good. Let's see what we can do about doing quite a nice turn, firing off a full barrage of that uh, other destroyer. Let's see what we can do about finishing these guys off. And would you look at that, some of the, uh, the close-in weapon systems on their ship is uh, scoring a few hits onto the, the, to the torpedo boat as well. And I think for the, uh, for the last order of the day, we will be going up against the, uh, another one of those Koenigs Koenigsberg uh, light, light destroyer or light uh, cruiser classes here. And I think we'll just uh, go forwards and take a look at what we can do here. So, um, hopefully the, uh, the HMS Leander here holds up once again. Let's see what we can do here about making a bit of a charge. Hopefully scoring off quite a few direct hits as well. There we go, that's that one. Hit critical anything, so that's rather unfortunate. And from the looks of it, yes, the, uh, the HMS Perth over there is of course giving us its support, banking off a few of its shots as well. Missed that time, but luckily our volleys hit. And ooh, there we go. We got quite a nice volley there, hitting, uh, destroying quite a few of the different modules inside the game. And I think this last barrage will finish it off. There we go. Nice explosion to set off uh, the ammunition catches inside the uh, inside the ship there. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed our first run in Victory at Sea. And of course, be sure to like and subscribe for more. Um, hopefully, I'll see you guys uh, next time once we uh, check uh, when we or rather once we when we check out some of the uh, some of the other actions present with the game, such as the carriers, the battleships, and of course those submarines and uh, convoy attack missions. So uh, bye bye till, till then.